hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Chrissy, and in today's video i will be sharing with you how to make this beautiful short mini pencil skate all right so i use the picture on the side of my screen to create mine with ankara all right so if you're interested to learn how i made this please keep on watching and let's get started So guys what i have here is just one yard of akara so i'll just go ahead and fold it into two just open it up like this and fold it into two okay so guys after folding it into two like this the next you want to do now is to take your skate measurement okay so for the length of the skate i'm working with 19 inches by length and i will add extra two inches to make it 21 inches for the sewing allowance okay so after that i will subtract two inches from my tape so the two inches i subtracted is for the waistband okay i'll just make a straight line with it after that i'll come down by eight inches the eight inches is for the hip line then on your waistline you're going to divide your waist circumference by four okay if you don't know how to divide it with your tape by four just look at what i'm doing here you just divide by two like this then you divide again that is by four after dividing go ahead and mark whatever you have then add three inches for the sewing allowance and for the dart allowance okay the same thing goes to the hip line on your hip line divide your hip circumference by four add two inches okay for your seam allowance then go ahead and connect just like this okay so after connecting i will place my tape on the hip line then i'll measure what i have there in total and i have 13 inches okay so on the hem part i subtract one inch then mark 12 inches whatever you get on your hip line plus the seam allowance you added go ahead and subtract it on your hem part subtract one inch then go ahead and make your curve then connect like this okay so this will give you that pencil effect a little bit after that i'll now go ahead and cut it off okay so after cutting the the first piece that is the front piece i will go ahead and cut out the back piece so for the back piece you're also going to fold it by two fold your fabric by two they're going to leave one inch for your zipper allowance okay leave we leave one inch space for a zip allowance i'll place my tape you can see i have one in space here then after that i also go ahead and cut it out just like this after cut the next thing you want to do is to add your dart so for your dart divide your nipple to nipple by two her own is eight inches so i divide it by two which is four inches then i'll go ahead and mark four inches like this then add extra one inch okay then i'll notch the one inch and also notch the point i marked four inch i also notch the zipper allowance as well then go ahead and slash it into two for your zipper only okay slash only your zipper allowance into two just like this so this is the black lining i will use transfer on the actual fabric so after transferring on the actual fabric i see what i have here so the fabric and the lining out of its end length i cut everything equal okay so this is not how to go about it i just um, separated this so i explained this so you understand very well right so now we can see everything is on equal length both the lining and the main fabric okay so now what i'm going to do now remember we added a extra two inches to the actual skirt length the skirt length was 19 inches right and i added a extra two inches for the sewing allowance minus the two inches waistband you can see 19 inches then i have two inches extra can you see so because of that what i'm going to do now is on the lining part i will just come up by one and a half inch okay you come up by one and a half inch like this after making a straight line with it you're going to now go ahead and cut it off all right we added two inches extra to the actual skirt length then I remove this one and a half inch on the lining. Then the remaining half inch will be used for the joining of the fabric and the lining together. Okay. So you can see what I have here. So when I place my tape, I have one and a half inches. Okay. So the distance between the lining and the main fabric is just one and a half inch. 
that's exactly what you should do when cutting your lining okay so the same thing goes for the back lining as well everything i did on the front lining i also repeat it on the back lining all right subtract one and a half inch all right use it to make a straight line then after marking you go ahead and cut it off so that will give you the turn up effect at the hem part of your skirt after sewing everything all right So the next thing to do now is to start the making of the skirt. Right now you're going to place your line in the right side, fixing each other. All right. So when you place it like this, I'm starting with the front skirt first. So I'll just place it like this. Then I'll head over to the sewing machine and I'll start the sewing from the hem part of the skirt. Make sure your lining is on equal length and is on equal size with the skirt hem part. Then go ahead and sew. After that, you sew the both side as well, just like this. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So once I'm through with that, you can see what I have here. Can you see? I just sewed the down part first, then I sewed the both side as well. Okay. So after sewing, this is what I have here. And I also stitched down the upper part, okay? So now you're going to now make your dart. You're going to now fold your fabric. All right, the next part you're going to fold them together like this. Then from there, you will make your dart. All right, so for the dart length, I marked six inches for the dart length. Okay, just like this. Come down by six inches or five inches, depending on your length. Then you go ahead and mark. After that, I'll do the same thing on the back as well. So guys, after doing that, you can see what I have here. This is a beginner's friendly. It's very, very easy to make. And I hope you understand. All right. So now what I'm going to do now is to just uh, place them the right side, fixing each other. Then after placing like this, what I'll go ahead and do next is to join the band. All right. So this is the waistband. So what I have here for the waistband is a total of 12 inches length remember it's on a fold each of them is on a fold and for the wideness i have 4.5 inches okay so when i fold it i will have 2.2 inches okay so now i'll bring the front skirt then i'll go ahead and place them like this make sure it's on a fold place them like this then go ahead and cut off the excess then head over to your sewing machine and so after so you have something looking like this all right you do the same thing for the back piece as well okay just fold your band into two like this you place them this way head over to your sewing machine and sew straight okay cut off the excess if you have any so after that you can see what i have here after sewing this is what i have okay so the next thing i also did was on the back piece i joined the two back together like this okay then i came up i came down by seven inches then sew the rest okay with one inch so i will be fixing my zipper at the space okay on the upper part so now i'm going to freshly hold them with my pin just pin it down like this okay so now after pinning i'm going to place them the right side facing each other make sure you place them the right side facing each other like this okay so after that we want to firstly shape the two sides like the both sides of the skirt then after shaping we are going to fix the zip but that will be later okay so now after pinning the both side next thing you want to do now is to take your actual measurement okay so this is for my client i'm not the owner it's for my client all right so now what i'm going to do now is to bring my tape then i'll divide our waist circumference by two so remember when cutting out the body measurement was divided by four so when shaping you divide it by two then you mark okay so after mark you place your tape whatever you have left you go ahead and divide it by two again all right you mark it same thing goes to the hip line as well divide your hip circumference by two her own is 42 inches so i divided it by two then i'll go ahead and mark all right so after marking you place your tape and measure what you have left after that you divide that one again like i mark this one right so now I place my tape from there and what i have there is three inches 
I'll divide the three inches by two, then I'll mark one and a half. Okay, so from the waist, I'll connect to the to the hip, just like this. Okay. After connecting from the waist to the hip, you measure your tip. What I have there is one and a half. Okay, so I'll just mark one and a half on the hem part, or you mark two inches on the hem part. Anything you get, you add I am um, half inch to it. Okay. Then what I'm marking now is two inches. After marking these two inches, I'll just go ahead and connect everything. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now this is the other side. What I'll do now is just to mark the two inches from the end of the skirt. You continue marking till you get to the hip. Then when you get to the waistline, you also place your tape to know what you have there. When you place it, anything you have, you go ahead and mark it on this other side okay after connecting everything together like this what i'll go what i'll do next is to head over to my sewing machine and sew on the both side okay just go ahead and sew like this so guys after sewing you can see what i have here can you see so what i usually do was after shaping my dress or my client dress i usually we take their body measurement okay so this will give you a perfect fitting all right after shaping your dress go ahead and retake the measurement so if you have like for me i have exactly a uh, body measurement here like no adjustment and all of that so after taking yours if you need adjustment you go ahead and adjust if you need to loosen them you go ahead and lose okay so now this is what i have here guys so everything is correct i'll just go ahead and iron it out as well so guys after ironing you can see what i have here all right can see how beautiful it looks now we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to like comment and share and also do not forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye